بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام على رسول الله. As you know that we are discussing the very important module of linguistics that is syntax. And in syntax, we are discussing and we are moving towards the advanced assumption, advanced conceptualization on syntax, and we are dealing with meaningless syntax. And in meaningless syntax, in this video, I am going to briefly elaborate that. how we can view how, how we can visualize the abstract internal structure of human faculty of language what chomsky called that this is the actually happen in the internal structure of human mind and this is the meaning is syntax and in this video i am very sharply very quickly want to elaborate that what are the basic and what are the fundamental assumptions that chomsky had put forward and let's move toward our video and for moving toward our video i want to request all of you that if you want to know more about language and linguistics please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for such more updates about syntax and especially the meaningless syntax let's move toward our topic first of all you must see the diagram and after that i will explain the diagram and each and everything i will clear all of you first of all chomsky stated that our faculty of language is just like this diagram how you can observe that in human mind we have the two portion in linguistics ability one that is the portion in human mind especially in faculty of human language that is the storehouse of mental that is the lexicon it is a mental dictionary and that mental dictionary of any language is called lexicon and i have already explained to you that what is lexicon lexicon basically are on in human faculty of language where the speaker has composed the linguistics word linguistics items and when he achieve want to make a sentence he is or her faculty of language forces to drag that word from the lexicon and then on that lexical item some operation will be applied and the next module is the chl what is chl chl is basically computational system for human language and chomsky stated that on the basis of principle and parameter theories that human faculty of language is basically composed with the two core module one is the lexicon second is the chl computational system for human language and when these two module interact with each other we can say that this is called the human faculty of language and when these modules interact with each other we can say that of the interaction of these two modules we can generate a fully grammatical sentence and let's see how these modules are interacted with each other and you are seeing the diagram and you can see that on the diagram we don't have any sub module like the government theory like the x bar theory like the binding theory like the theta theory we don't have any theories because chomsky has simplified the human faculty of language he states that all these theories are bordering the faculty of human language and human faculty of language is totally unconstrained unrestricted so chomsky has eliminated 
all the sub module on the faculty of human language and he is now saying that the human faculty of language is putting just like this and when speaker takes word from the lexicon and for taking word from lexicon speaker faculty of language why some operation and that operation is called vocal select through the operation select chl select the item from the lexicon and periodically arrange the lexical item this is the one point this is the basic one operation after the selection the categories are merged together to make the phrases this is the second point merge third is the after merging we have to agree we have to agree we have to make the agreement within the word for grammaticality it's called condition so for agreement we have to move from the category from one place to another place and after movement of operations three operation have been applied so after applying the pc operation our derivation then just like this splits mean our derivation breaks in the two divided into the two strings one is going to the pf and one is going to the lf what is the lf pf mean the phonetic form lf mean logical form in this way we can say that the faculty of language is working so now what is the difference between the lexicon and the chl see lexicon is basically developed through the environment the child has learned the linguistics item but the child did not learn and not develop the chl because chl is naturally installed in human faculty of language so we can say that the chl is natural invariant it cannot be modified if we want to change we have to change our genes because it is a part of our gene it is a part of our human organ system so if we want to change we have to change the gene so it is natural it is invariant lexical is developed through the environment and it is variant it can be changed so these are the core differences in the these two thing and these are the two crucial thing because if we want to make our sentence like chomsky is viewing we can say that our friendly language looking just like this lexicon and schedule and when these two atom do these two modules interact with each other we can make a meaningful sentence and this is the very simple view of minimalist program and if you want to more know more about language and linguistics please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for more updates thank you very much